Akesh, I thought it was really important what you explained today uh, so that we finally all together leave the state of schizophrenic state of mind about matter, GANs, and plasma, and how the fields interact, how they become, you know, how they tighten up, how they interact the magnetic and gravitational. That thing that you said is so fundamental to understand in order to, you know, get on with this knowledge. Is it possible that you can explain that in a way kids also can understand? First of all, I have a good news for you. Uh, we are opening the Children's School of the Cash Foundation in September, October of this year. So we will have uh, children classes that the knowledge is transferred by the knowledge seekers who can teach children here in Italy. The whole thing is that what we have in our lives, we are used to, is a matter state. We have everything we see in a way we tangibly touch. We call it matter. And this matter is made of, doesn't matter what it is, a plant, a globe, plastic, made of structure which is little, little balls tightly packed together. These are tightly packed, what are called plasmas, but you have to understand in every meter, if I can get this about the meter, is that many of these little things, more or less, next to each other. We call them a matter state. But what we do, we have found a way that instead of them being packed together, we allow them to open up. And we have more or less, if it was hydrogen, half of it. Because the other half, they need about the same gap open. Here is 10 to the power of 9. Here the power of four and a half, maybe five. Because now, these are like magnets. Magnets, when you put magnets next to each other, they need a distance. These are exactly like this, next to each other, one next to the other. But when you put them together, if you have, you see, they can't stick together in one way or another. They create a gap. So there is a distance between them. So this distance <coughs> allows these, I'll take these away from here that you don't make a mistake. I'll put it here. These are that many atoms. We call it 10 to the power of 9. That's what is called nano. It means you have single atom separated from each other in a nanostate. So now, if you heat it, or if you put a current into it, these single things which are packed together now become separated and become like this. But if you give them another condition, that you put them in a salt, for example, salt water. Now, the water is still there, but now they go free walking. They are not attached to the bar, because don't forget here, they're all attached to the metal. So now what you have is a free plasma. They're free, they can float anywhere, and this is what you see. We have a wire, This is uh, the wire, the copper wire. We treated it to make it single atoms. It becomes black like this. Now, those little, little balls are exactly what you see there on it. 
when you see them black, it's at least about 30,000 hour layer of them on top of each other. And then this is the top line, this is the second line, and then when we put them to salt water, they become this color. This is called copper oxide gas material. So now you are what I call for you to understand better, you are in a green state. Now you're free, we collect you. We can collect it as a liquid. So when we do this, now you're in a bottle. Don't forget, when you're in this state, every single one of these is exactly like a sun. Radiates continuously energy out. Continuous flow of energy. Non-stop flow of energy. So now you have the Gans. Now the Gans means actually the sun, a free sun. But because it is so small, we can put a lot of them in it, in a bottle. So when you look at this thing here, as a Gans, is billions of the suns, but in a small packages. It's like children and the adults. These are the children and the babies. So, so what we do now, we learned, is when we put them in there, uh, we put them in a sphere like a sun, and we rotate them, they release their energy, these little packs here. Now because the sun they radiates, they release their energy as a magnetic field. And then if we can collect these energies the way we want, we can have an energy of, let's say, a sweet. We can have an energy of a car, or we can energy of a banana. Because now it's free, we can make anything we like from it. Even though it started from a copper wire. It became a nano of a copper wire, and then it became a gans of it. Now it's a free. So now we can return it back to whatever state of matter we'd like it to be, because now it's free. It's like when you make a dough, you have a flour, you decide if it's going to be a bread, a cake, a muffin, or whatever you like. Because now it's in its fundamental free structure. So if you understand, we came down from this to this. We managed to gather it, and then we gone back to the matter. The cycle of creation is complete. Now, here, you had no say in what it would be, because it was only copper. When you transfer it to this, you can have anything, any matter, a state of energy, food, material, motion, whatever you need, you can use it for. And this is what we've been teaching for all this time the cycle of life, but in the universal condition, not in the life of the man. So, if that makes sense to you, if you understand it, you understand everything to do with plasma technology. You are more plasmatically scientists than the professors in universities. Because for them to understand this, it's a big problem. Very big problem. So now you see how things are. And now you see how the progress of knowledge and science, we used to heat this up, manipulate it, make wires, make cups and plates from it. Now the knowledge has come to the level that you don't need to manipulate it and only have a plate and copper plate or copper fork and knife or copper toy. Now you can change it and make whatever you like out of it. Even if you want to make a plastic toy, if you can convert the energy to plastic level, you have plastic. You want to make bread out of it, you can, because if you put the knowledge right how to package it, it will turn up what to be.
in a way, with the plasma technology, we free man from the shackle of the matter state. So you're free. You can make anything you like, any position in the universe. You go to Mars, you want to have a wooden toy, you have a copper wire, or you have a plasma, you understand how to make wood, you can make a wooden toy. The knowledge is so simple that the new generation of the children will swim in it like a fish, and the old have to fight against it because it means they cannot swim. That's the biggest difference in the new knowledge. Because we've been too much attached to one status, we can't accept that we can have everything we want.